What is going on, guys? It is your boy Rise Red Scopes here, and today I'm coming at you guys with another video. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and ask a person who has beaten the Taken King in Destiny. Basically, it's gonna be kind of like a Q&A. Just I came up with the questions for right now. We have five questions. If you guys do have extra questions to ask, then I will be making a separate video. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into the questions. So, the first question we have is, were there any problems with the graphics or lighting of the game that you uh, noticed? I mean, I like the graphics. They're pretty good. Um, you know, there's a lot of scenery, a lot of, a lot of visuals. Uh, there were certain parts of the game that got very dark even though I had the settings on the game turned up all the way, and I had to also turn the settings on my TV up all the way just to see where I was going. You know, when I'm going to, like, a cave or, like, a dark room or something, I, yeah, I, I couldn't really see that much. So, guys, the second question we have is, were there any glitches or unfair moments? Well, there was this one specific moment or I think I think it occurred two times where you're on a mission near the end and you need to cross a bridge onto the other side or something like that and uh, first of all it was very dark so I couldn't see where I was going and secondly the bridge um, it like appears or disappears or something it takes a little bit of time to uh, to show up. It's like some sort of projection and it allows you to cross. And I think I died like 15 times trying to just guess where I was going, like jumping across, becoming impatient or something. I had no idea what was going on there. Um, so that part itself was very frustrating. Um, other than that, like multiplayer occasionally will glitch or it'll have to load the, uh, the graphics, the scenery. Um, but it doesn't happen too often. You know, things can be, like, very chaotic. So you don't really know what happened when you died. So now the third question we have, guys, is who would you recommend, not just, like, the Taken King, just the game Destiny, just the whole entire game Destiny 2? So, yeah. I mean... First of all, you should know it's uh, made by Bungie, uh, creators of Halo, and I don't know if there's any other popular games that they made, but it was originally Halo. So if you liked Halo, you'd definitely like, like, like this, you know. Um, settings, futuristic, like in space, uh, you know, there's lasers, and it's, it's not Call of Duty, it's not, um, there's, it's not modern any time of modern times or near future. You know, there's aliens, weird creatures like that. If you like first person shooters with a lot of flexibility in the gameplay, like uh, um, you have options to play storyline or you can play, you can just explore around like on patrols. Uh, you can play competitive and non-competitive, uh, like co-op multiplayer. So, I mean, if you like any of those things, I'd definitely recommend the game. So, our fourth question is, would you play The Taken King again? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, the cool thing about Destiny is that there's so many different uh, classes and subclasses that I could just go change my class and then go back and replay the storyline. And while the storyline isn't going to be a mystery anymore, there's still the different missions and the different ways you go about uh, accomplishing them. And doing that with different classes and subclasses would be pretty cool. So guys, last but not least, we have probably the biggest question out there, tips and tricks for people that already play Destiny. So yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into the tips and tricks. So do you have any tips and tricks? And if so, what are they? Uh, not really any tricks or cheats or anything like that, but for tips, definitely get your light as high as possible. 
because, uh, I mean, I was level 40 and had like, I think 250 or something plus light and definitely made dying a lot uh, less common. Uh, you know, you still get trapped. You can't really go in there guns blazing. You gotta, you gotta play it smart in a lot of the levels, especially against the bosses and stuff. Um, it definitely wasn't as difficult as like the higher level Vanguard, uh, or or fighting the Crucible. Like you know, the there are other Guardians that are definitely tougher to beat. So guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And yeah, that will be all for this video. Leave a like and subscribe for more. And the way you guys can ask questions that we might have not answered is you can leave the comments. You can leave a comment of your question below. And if I at least get five questions, then I will probably be doing a second video yeah anyways like and sub as always peace out